Welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how can we create a test for testing the file download scenario in Gmeter. Towards the end of this session we will also look at some useful tips. Let's get started and let us go to our Gmeter and here we have to create a test for file download. So I am going to my test plan and I will do a right click add threads and I will add a thread group and inside this thread group I am going to add a sampler HTTP request. So file download is basically a GET request. So we are going to create our file download test here. So for testing file download I am going to this particular website and I will make this link available in the description of this video and here we can test by downloading any of these files. So for this demo purpose let us take a very small file which is this 1kb and to get the URL I am doing a right click here and I will copy link address. So I have to copy the link of this particular download and then I will be providing this link here inside server name or IP and of course this will go in the path so I will copy it here and I will keep just the server name or IP here and the rest of the location in the path field. Now this is a get so I will keep it as get and now we have to add a listener so let me add a listener view results tree and let us try and run it. Let me save as well. Now our test is successful but how do we confirm that the download of the file was successful? To test that we have to add another listener. So I will go inside my request, do a right click, add listener and here we have to add a listener, save response to a file. I will be adding this listener here. Let us now understand the options in this listener. So here in the file name prefix field we can give the location where we want to save our file. So in my case I have created this folder jmeter downloads. So I will be providing this location here in file name prefix and also I will add the name of the folder. So, and I will add any name. I want to save my file by the name my file and now you can keep the variable name empty or you can give some value so this can be used in any other request and then these are the options which are self explanatory if you want to save only failed responses or only successful responses don't add number to prefix don't add suffix or if you want to add a timestamp to the name of your file. So now our request is ready let us run it again and let us see if our file is saved here inside this folder and yes you can see my file dot zip has come here okay so this is how we can create our download test and we can also save our downloaded files inside a folder now let us go to some very quick useful tips in case you are doing a multi-user test how can you avoid overwriting the downloaded files so in our scenario you can see if i will run it number of times let me create three users here inside thread group so I am making it three and ramp up period also as three so it should download the file three times right so let us run it again and also see our folder so you can see all our three requests are successful but we just have a single file so every time our downloaded file is getting overwritten so how to fix it you can go to your save responses to a file listener again and here one option is you can say add number to prefix so uncheck this don't add number to prefix so what will happen is if you run it now and go to your folder you can see files getting generated with a number being added as a prefix and we can go one step further and if you want to check the download per user or we want to identify every thread that downloaded the file we can make use of a function called thread num so what i'm going to do is i will go to 
JMeter menu, go to options, function helper dialog and here you can select a function called thread num, click generate. So this will generate this function. I'm just copying it from here and what I'm going to do is inside my save responses to a file listener, I will go here and I will just add this function in my file name. So I will paste it here and give a underscore and my file name and I'm checking don't add number to prefix. So now if I will run it again, let me just go to my folder and delete all the existing files and run my test again. And now you can see it is appending the number and this is actually the thread number. So this is how we can avoid overwriting our files in a multi-user test. I hope this session was very useful for you. In case you have any doubts or questions, please do write them down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and keep learning.